Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the Modi targets add-on to emulate the slash tar command for multiple targets in World of Warcraft. When I say emulate, it means that it's not possible to use more than one name in that command, so you can create a list of targets to cycle through. So let's start with the problem. Imagine you need to track two specific enemies in an area. For this video I'm using a new character in Elwyn Forest that needs to kill wolves and kobolds. Usually you can do slash tar young wolf and slash tar kobold vermin, but you can't do something like tar young wolf common kobold vermin. So you have to keep typing slash tar in the name of the target you want to track. Of course, nobody plays the game like this, doing target by target. This is just an example to show the problem, especially when you are in a big area or flying or in a dungeon or in a raid and you want to target nearby enemies when you can't see them in front of you. Now, imagine a scenario when you're tracking something like 5 or 10 targets. It's not practical to keep typing the command over and over again or even creating a macro for each target, which would have to be updated every time you change your target list. So how can multi-targets help you with this? First, you need to download the add-on. You can do this manually or using apps like the CurseForge app, which is what I'm using in this video. After installing the add-on, the first time you log in, you see the multi-targets window with no targets yet. There are a couple of commands to add or remove targets that you can list by typing slash multi-targets help, but the easiest way is to use the button above the target frame. Note that by clicking on it, the target window is updated and you can remove them using the same button or in the target window itself. You can also add targets that are not close to you by using the slash multi-targets add command. Now that you have your targets set, Open your macro window with slash m and you'll see that the add-on created a macro there. Just drag it to your action bar and you're ready to go. It's also possible to set a key to this macro so you can target your enemies without having to click on the button. In this case, I'm using the F key. What happens now when I press F multiple times? It basically rotates through the targets I've set and also adds raid icons to them so they kind of call your attention. So, how can you use multi-targets in your gameplay? First, you can use it for farming by adding all the enemies you want to track in an area and leaving the ones you don't want to track out of the list. That way you can focus on the ones you want to kill. You can also use it for hunting rares, especially when you're in areas with multiple rare spawns. Just add them to the list and cycle through them. It's even better when you're flying around a big area and can't see the enemies right in front of you. When questing, you can manually add the enemies you need to kill, so once you reach the area, you can start targeting them right away. And depending on the area, sometimes you can even see the raid markers inside caves, houses, making it easier to track them. Another usage is to set a target list for dungeons and raids with the name of the mobs you need your group to pay attention, like a mob that heals or buffs the others and you want all of them prioritize it. So when moving in the dungeon, you can keep pressing the key to cycle through them. Of course, there are more ways to use it and that depends a lot of how you play the game. So I hope this video helps you to understand how multi-targets can be useful for you with the basic setup. Multi-targets is a simple add-on, but there are lots of functionalities to be implemented in the future, so make sure to keep it updated. If you like this video and the add-on itself, please leave a comment in the CurseForge page, so that will help it be more visible to other players. And if you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.